Tropical deforestation is an amazingly complex issue, but the economics of it are actually quite simple. Forests are being cut and burned because they are valued more that way than when they're left standing. So the challenge for conservationists is to find ways that standing forests can be given more value than forests that are cut and burned. I started the Center for Amazon Community Ecology in 2006 with the idea of wanting to inspire people about the rich ecology of the rainforest and to help traditional communities find viable alternatives to destructive activities like logging, mining, cattle ranching, and destructive agriculture. The Center for Amazon Community Ecology is a conservation group that's dedicated to conservation and supporting sustainable livelihoods of traditional peoples in the Amazon. And we go about that through a combination of research, community support, and education activities. The main area that we focus on is the role of non-timber forest products. Non-timber products are things like fruits, fibers, resins, and we particularly look for opportunities for forest peoples to not only use these products in their subsistence activities, but looking for opportunities where people can transform these products into value-added products that they can sell at a reasonable profit to support their livelihoods. Then there is a way that people can get more value out of the standing forest than they could from cutting it down. One example of this is our work with copal. Well, one of the neatest things about the copal resin is that it smells really good. This has uh, been used as an incense by traditional people going back thousands of years. The Mayans actually used relatives of the copal tree in their ceremonies, and even today it's used as an incense in Catholic ceremonies. The main use for copal here is simply by people using it to caulk their boats. The other market is people collect resin lumps and burn it, just as a very simple form of incense. But one thing that the center is hoping to do is to explore more value-added uses for this resin. The first site for copal research is the Center for Investigation at Hanaro Herrera, a research facility run by the Government Institute for Investigation of the Peruvian Amazon. The Copal project is, had been really interesting when I arrived. I went back from my master's here and I discovered that there was a new researcher coming here because for us it was a new, a new one. And we were really happy that, to have a new project that fit really well with our main project of non-timber products. With Copal we do a really good collaboration between you and the institution because we need more, more people coming here not only to, to discover new things but also to offer new opportunities to people and I think that COPAI has a good component with that involve also community, the community. The Center for Investigation is a great facility for our work because it has several copal plantations, it has an arboretum with marked copal trees in it and it has a big area of protected natural forest that has a richness of species of copal spread throughout it. In the Amazon, people have collected lumps of resin that form on the trees when they're attacked by certain species of bark-boring weevils. And native people have observed for a long time that there are little larvae that they find in these resin lumps. But it's only been in the last 10 years that we've realized that these weevils that they find in the resin are actually the insects that are responsible for forming these resin lumps that we find in the tree. One of the most important things that we want to know about the weevil, both for the sake of understanding it and coming up with a sustainable harvest system, is how long it takes for these weevils to develop. And at a very basic level, what are these weevils? The weevils are the most biologically rich family of organisms on the planet, but a weevil specialist has told us already that the ones that we're finding on these copal trees are species that are unknown to science. So 
one important part of figuring out what they are is to work with the adults. So one way that we're trying to do this is that we've made long cones out of wire mesh and we put them over resin lumps. And the members of our field team, Malanio and Italo, go out and they check these traps on a regular basis to see if any adult weevils have emerged from these resin lumps into the trap. We've caught half a dozen weevils that have emerged as adults into these traps. And by looking back over the photos of those resin lumps over time, we can estimate how long it took them to go from the early larval stages to this time when they finally emerged as an adult. The great challenges of doing this in the field, however, is that these weevils develop very slowly. It seems it may take at least a year, maybe two years. And so these traps deteriorate over time. It's very hard to create a seal around the trunk to catch the weevils. So we've caught half a dozen weevils, but we've probably lost more. Studies often feels like we're sort of being a forensic ecologist, where if you study ants, you can go out and you can observe them directly very easily. But with the weevils, it's a much more secretive creature. Uh, they crawl along the forest floor, they come up, they lay their eggs in the tree, and then go away, and we just don't see them very often. In the two years that I've been doing this study, we found maybe half a dozen weevils walking around in the trees. So we have to learn whatever information we can from little clues like this. So I'll go back and I'll look at what's left of these little bits of resin under a microscope and hope to see some evidence of the weevil that's emerged from it. Beyond the weevils that are key to the formation of copal resin, bees and other insects actually use this resin. Studying the harvest of copal resin by bees is really the essence of studying the ecology of a tropical rainforest. We have an amazing example here of an insect that would normally be viewed just as a pest on a tree. By attacking copal trees, weevils are making available a resin that is critical to a wide variety of bees that are important pollinators for many of the trees throughout the rainforest. Las, los lentes se les cayeron. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Ha caído? Sí. No, han tapado los lentes. Ajá. Mm. ¿Ya? Ahora viene la expedición allá. Ya, ya. Sí.